I've been a pro athlete since I was 16. And I've been running since I was eight. One, two, one, two, three. Even though we only compete in the summer, it is an all year sport. We were in this cycle of competition, 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 competition. So you've been doing something like that since you were eight years old. Where's the time for fun? Where's the time for yourself? I think they're going to go on holiday soon, actually. Jamaica. They wanted me to come to Jamaica and I was like, <laughs> I'd love to. They were like, you can come, it'd be a family holiday. I was like, I really can't. <laughs> I've really got a lot of training to do. I'm going to be the best athlete I can be. That's still very much my priority. But there is no way that you are going to run fast or reach your maximum potential without everything being in line. Somebody could be the best athlete, but if their head's not in it, or they're just not happy, they won't perform. It's just not going to happen. Yeah, nice work. When I step on the track, I want to win. But that kind of cold mentality towards sprinting is the polar opposite of who I am in real life. Rest, walk back. <laughs> go, go. Oh, yeah, isn't it? Honestly, I don't know what to say. Autopilot. Like you just got to keep the legs going. Very nice. Yeah. I think most people, when they get to know me in real life, they're very surprised that I'm very funny and very bubbly and very loud. Yeah. On Wednesday, I was helping one of the girls that did her block technique. She's far better than me and Shannon were at 16. She's amazing. I was like, I need to retire. <laughs> <laughs> When I was younger, the older athletes told us this career isn't forever. You do have to know who you are outside the sport so that when it doesn't go well, your entire world doesn't collapse. I'm not good at hair. So I get it wrong and I've got to redo it like 60 times. In my very organised makeup bag. I think a lot of people changed over the course of the pandemic. I don't know about everybody, but I certainly did. Yeah, but... Um... Nowadays, I really don't wear makeup unless I'm going to see my friends or racing. <laughs> I want to actually live life. I want to do all this stuff and have an amazing career and like be super successful on track, but also have loads of moments of laughter and sparkles. <laughs> I'm working on prioritizing myself and, and my friends. I'm just gonna do me for a bit. I realised that there are some stuff 20-year-olds or young people take for granted that I just had never done. I've been going to restaurants, having brunches with my friends, I've been going out. And it's been great. I stopped writing. Life was so busy. But getting back into it, that's really empowering and really cool. I've always found the power of words really interesting. It can make people feel stuff. When you push yourself outside of your comfort zone, I think that's where you get changed. I'm trying to explore and broaden myself in different ways for self-preservation and self-esteem and confidence. I cannot focus on history without my poor glasses. I'm doing this stuff <laughs> to make myself happy. I'm training as well, don't get that twisted. I'm working very hard. <laughs> I think you'd be hard pressed to find somebody whose life has always been like highlight reel. Like there are definitely ups and downs, but that's just part of the story. I think that we could all do better though. Just live life however you fancy in a way that suits you. Whether that's spending time with people you love or just prioritizing yourself, you really have to grab life and go for it. <laughs>